Hey guys, it's Maria. Welcome to this baking video. So today we're going to be making some really cute fondant tappers for cupcakes. The first thing we're going to be using is fondant. I do have the review for this one. It's the one by Wilton. But I'm going to take this much and I'm going to place it on top of some wax paper. And I'm going to roll it. I'm just going to be taking this daisy cookie cutter and I'm just going to cut it and just remove the excess. And that excess I'm going to store back in the package so I can use it later. And I'm going to be making this twice. So every cupcake that has a daisy is going to be having two of this. Then I'm going to be gluing those two by using uh, this brush by Wilton as well and some water. Just a tiny bit of water the less water you can use the better it's gonna glue I'm just using some water because water adds like a glue when uh, it comes to fondant and then I'm just gonna be placing one daisy on top of the other and before it dries I'm going to be giving this some texture so I'm just gonna arrange those bits so they dry with a bit of an angle but before it dries I'm gonna be taking some more fondant this one I colored with some yellow food coloring I'm just gonna roll it making up a small ball on like my hand and then I'm going to be pushing that with my wax paper so I don't have like you know fingerprints that goes on the middle in there with some water as well and yeah I'm just going to let the whole thing dry and then I'm going to be using some green fondant as well I'm just going to roll it again and then I'm going to be taking this leaf cookie cutter I'm going to be taking this tool that I have a DIY on this one if you want to check it out it's super handy I use it for pretty much well not this one this one is for fondant but similar to this you can use for everything and anything it's just super handy and I'm just going to add some details on like the leaf you can use a toothpick as well but I find this tool to be much handy because you can wash it and use it later and then I'm just going to be taking some water and just gluing that leaf on the bottom of my uh, daisy now we're going to be making some ladybugs for that I'm going to be taking some red fondant color with red full coloring and I'm just going to be making this shape first around and then just oval shape in between my two hands then I'm going to be pushing this a bit with my wax paper just so it's flat like yeah, ladybugs are what's up that that I'm just going to take my handy tool and add a line in the uh, middle part then I'm going to be taking a tiny bit of black fondant I did the same thing coloring just going to be rolling this into a small tiny bowl and then I'm going to be taking white sprinkles two of them per ladybug and I'm just going to be placing them as eyes and again I'm going to be using some water to just attach those two shapes together and I'm just going to let the whole thing dry this is what it looks like from all angles I'm going to be taking some food markers and these are from Wilton this is like a sharpie I'm going to be adding six dots per ladybug which is three dots per side as you can see there it's pretty easy but just make sure your fondant is dry because otherwise it's going to sink right in and I'm just going to be doing that on all of them and this is how all my figures look like right now just letting them dry in this leaf one I took a cookie cutter and I'm just letting it dry with a bit of an angle as you can see it's pretty simple then I took all my cupcakes I do have the recipe for this cupcake and some whipping cream which was a mistake and at the end I'm gonna explain why but this looks fine for now I'm just going to be using my Wilton 1M first as a reset and I'm just going to uh, place my topper on top and in here I'm just adding a daisy with my ladybug and here I just used a round tip and I just added a leaf and two ladybugs just for you to see what it looks like with the round tip but yeah this is what the toppers look like I honestly like them a lot I think they are super cute super easy to make and to have like in storage for like cupcake decorations cookie decorations I think a cake would look pretty cute with these decorations on top it's summer in some places and it's real hot outside this idea is really summery and something that I wanted to give it a try. I actually got inspired from a blog. I'm going to link the post below and I wanted to give it a try but of course adding my own twist to it. Hopefully you liked them too. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff, and click on the bell and share this so more people can join and watch. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye guys! Before I go though, I wanted to show you something that happened right after I finished the whole thing. It looks cute from like where I am. If you go and look close the colored fondant starts bleeding on like the whipping cream and this is how it's looking so far this one is like the disaster if i were to do this again which i think i probably am because these are really cute you can see black there i would never ever ever use whipping cream again for this for adding fondant toppers because i mean this one is my fave but looks like a mess right there in real life it looks more dramatic than what it does on the camera, thank god. Just in case you go for this, 
just go for a regular buttercream, you guys.